Okay, so here we've got a question where y is directly proportional to the square root of x. And uh, that's exactly what this little fishy symbol here means. It means y is directly proportional to the value of x. Now, if something's directly proportional, it means these two variables, these two, two letters of algebra, as y goes up, the value of x will go up. And as the value of 1 goes down, the other one will go down as well, at a kind of constant rate, essentially. Now, because they're directly proportional, let's just grab a pen here, um, we can actually say that uh, y equals um, some value which is going to be fixed. For this particular relationship of x and y, there's going to be a fixed value, and we just use a letter k for that. I have absolutely no idea why we use k. Um, it makes no sense to me, but we do. Um, if you do know, please feel free to keep it to yourself. Um, but y is equal to k times by the root of x. Now, I need to find this value of k, but as nearly always in these questions, they give you one pair of values to work with. So they've told you that when y is 45, x is 81. Now we can put these values into that equation. Okay, so y is 45, so I'll just swap the y for the 45. And we've got our value k, which we don't know yet, but that's what we're trying to find out. And we've got square root of, well, x is 81 when y is 45. Okay, now I've got some values here. I can actually, the only unknown I've got here is k, so I can actually figure out the value of k. Well, the square root of 81 is 9. So we've got k times by 9, because k is touching this square root, and in algebra, touching means time. So really, there's a, a little hidden square root in, uh, not square root, a little hidden times in there. So k times 9, and of course, y is 45. Now, you could probably do figure out what the value of k must be at this point without doing the next step. But let's, uh, let's do what we would usually do in case we're not sure. Um, k is times by 9. I need to get rid of this times by 9. So I'm going to do the opposite of that, the inverse, which is dividing by 9. But of course it's an equation, so to keep it balanced I've got to do the same thing to both sides. So this side, I've times it by 9 and I've divided by 9, so they cancel out, just leaving k, which is exactly what I wanted. And on the other side, 45 divided by 9 is 5, right? So the value of k in this particular case is 5. That's how this x and y are linked in this pair of values. So I can go back to my original equation, and I'm going to go back hopefully using... Why is it not going to let me change? I want to change pen colour, but it won't let me. Oh well, we'll stick with red. Red's awesome. Uh, we've got y equals... Uh, now we know that k is now 5, so that's 5 root x. So y equals 5 times the root of x. So whatever x is, if I square root it, times it by 5, I get y. Okay? Now this is a really important step. This is exactly what they want you to do in the test. They want you to find this value of k. Now for the next bit, I have actually got... I wonder if I can persuade it. Yeah, there we go. We can persuade it to be a blue another, another way. Okay, so we're now going to rewrite our equation using the values they've given us. They've told us that... Uh, to find x when y is 100. So I'm going to go back to this equation I've just made. I know that y is 100. I know that uh, my k is 5 in this case. And I don't know x, so I've still got 5 root x. Now again, 5 is touching the square root. Algebra, touching means times. So this means 5 times the root of x. I'm going to have to sort of unpick this to find x on its own. First thing to deal with is this 5. I don't want it times by 5, I just want that to disappear. So I'm going to divide it by 5 to cancel it out. And again, do it on both sides of your equation. So times in by 5, dividing by 5, cancels out, just to leave the square root of x, whatever x may be. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. But I don't want the square root of x, I want x. I need to undo this square root. So what I'm going to do... To get rid of the square root is do the inverse. I'm going to square it. But of course, what you do to one side of your equation, you must do to the other side. So I'm going to square this side as well. Now the square root and the square cancel out and just leave x. Because if you take x and you square it, and then you square root it, you get back to where you started, just x. Right, now 20 squared, 20 times 20 is, as we all know, because we know our 20 times table, is 400. So in this case x is 400 when y is 100. So that's the question answered. So just to recap, 
We saw that they were directly proportional, y and the square root of x. So I wrote out my equation of y equals k times by the root of x. And I put in the two values that I was given, the pair of values, and then solved it to try and find the value of k. And this is a really important step down here. That is really what they're looking for because that's how x and y are linked in this particular case.